Hello guys. <laughs> Hi. This is Amber. Lives in Sync Tarot. I know you don't see me that often, but I'm real. <laughs> so I decided to try to start doing um, little astrology highlights because I was reading a lot of astrology pages and listening to astrology on a few channels and I feel like for just the run-of-the-mill person like it's just so much it's just so much to listen to it's just so much to understand and we don't know much about the stars and the moons and all that so I've tried to compile it in a way that it only gives you like the highlights I also have it on my blog as well that's in the description box below feel free to go there but um I pulled it up on my phone so I can just read it off to you but so happy birthday Pisces and happy birthday Aries birthday happy birthday Aries for March and so you're looking at a full moon in Virgo on March the 12th now this full moon is the focus on health eating better feeling better that's what it's about this is a good time to start that seven day vegan challenge it'll make you feel really good also i am an advocate of drinking distilled water try to drink it for seven days you will feel the difference you will okay let me know if you do that in the description box how you feel because i do that from time to time and it may just be in my head but <laughs> i really feel like it makes a difference also, this is a time to reflect and release. Uh, meditate on things hindering the growth of your mind, body, and soul. And this includes anything that leaves you stagnant, okay? It's time to reevaluate those things. Also, it's time to spring clean as well as your mind, body, and soul, but your home and your life. Organizing, um, getting that planner together. If you wanted to make a planner, this is a good time to do that planner, okay? So, you have a new moon in Aries, March 28th. So, this is a time to pay attention to things that make you happy. Things that give you that fiery, passionate energy, okay? You want to nurture that feeling. Because it'll teach you what real happiness and real excitement is about, okay? Be confident, unapologetic about what you want. But of course, you know I'm going to say it. Please be kind and be courteous of others. Um, don't be narcissistic. There we go. Be careful not to use this passion on things that don't matter. This is also important, and I definitely highlighted that here. Okay, you do not want to let your ego overtake you because you run that risk with Aries being uh, the new moon. Okay, because Aries is about the self, and sometimes we can become overly passionate that's a good word <laughs> about ourselves. Okay, so just remember to keep that energy down a little. All right. <laughs> also how could i forget about this venus is in retrograde it starts off in aries march the 4th and ends in pisces april 15th that's when it'll be direct i'm gonna read this because i think i wrote it best okay this is a time filled with lust and attraction be careful of false love because it will dissolve after when when Venus goes direct. I couldn't get it out. I'm sorry, guys. When <laughs> Venus goes direct, okay? But there's still an opportunity to find true love. But it will be difficult with some possible delays and hardships. If you are ready, meaning open and ready to give with love and affection and honesty and all those positive things, then it will be a positive experience. However, if you have not truly mastered the lessons of self-love and appreciation, 
then you will have some difficulties. In that case, I would use this time to focus on self-love and self-acceptance instead of trying to get yourself into a relationship with someone else. Okay, I would definitely do that. And you will have the help of Jupiter this month with that. So that's good. Side note about Venus in retrograde that people hate the most is that old lovers may reappear, may, will reappear. <laughs> so this is a good time to decide if that's a relationship that you want to keep. Um, is it a part of your greater good or is it just something that you just want? Okay, this is a good time for you to differentiate between those two feelings. If it's not something that's for your greater good or it's gonna help you out, please do yourself a favor. Please do yourself a favor and let it go. Let it go. <laughs> so thank you so much for listening. I love you so much. <laughs> if you like this video or you want these little highlights, I would be happy to read these this blog post that I post um, at the beginning of each month on in a video for you to watch. Just let me know below if you like that in the comments. Um, that's it. <laughs> Hopefully I see you next month. Bye.